That's just gonna cook away. Ah. Hopefully we're eating something at the end of the day. Ah. Let's go, baby. Ooh. It is bloody hard to get an animal out there. There goes all chances of us getting a fire going. That piece just had all the crap in it. Oh, that was actually cooked. For the next two days, I'm gonna be eating only what I catch. Right now, we're making our way up the coast. We need to get food, baby. Let's go! Yes, we're here. We're good. All right, we'll jump it off here. We gotta get food. Woohoo! Throw me my gear. It's time to go hunting, baby. Oh my goodness, guys, it is absolutely insane down there. But we just had one drift and there wasn't really too many fish around. So what I've just done is I've asked the captain, he's gonna drive us a little bit further up the coastline and then we're gonna re-drift on a new spot. Hopefully we can get some food. Jolie's out here, he's winching that he's hungry. I have to actually eat only what I catch here, mate. I'm gonna have a buffet tonight and I'm gonna watch you eat absolutely nothing because you're not gonna catch anything. <laughs> this bloke, he's doubting me. Captain, you gotta put me in the zone. Put me in the zone, let's go. Oh my goodness, look at this water. Boys are frothing. Alrighty guys, we're making our way up the coast right now. The plan of attack is day number one. I'm using this spear gun right here. Things are going to get a lot harder for day number two. But let me tell you guys, I need to get food right now. Are we good to get in the water here, Captain? Alright, we're good to go. I need to get food, eh, brother? Let's go. Alright, I'm getting the water. Woo! <laughs> you always got taken out by the boat there. Alrighty guys, we've had one insane morning diving. We've ended up with this beautiful little parrot fish right here, but I don't think that's gonna be enough to get me through the day. So what we're doing right now is we're sending it for the horizon. We're gonna chase a specific type of fish that's one of the best sashimi in the ocean. Captain, we gotta go wide, give it some. We're going baby, let's go. Take a look at the conditions that we got for today guys. There's an absolute glass out out here. So we'll get in the water. We need to get food, baby.
just touched down, baby. We're gonna get this fish on the cook right now. Day number one, we have got food. It's not a lot of food, but we've got food, all right? That's all that matters right now. So I'm trying to work out how the hell I wanna eat this fish because we've obviously got two fish. We've got that rainbow runner. That's like amazing sashimi. And we also got that parrot fish. So right now, what I'm thinking is I wanna get a fire going on this beach and I wanna get that parrot fish on the cook. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. So let's start exploring this beach. Let's see what is along this beach that we can use to help us with this cook up. And let's get into it, eh? Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! We forgot that the bloody sand's about a squillion degrees. We're gonna use all of this bad boy and this is gonna help us to get this fire going for sure. I spotted something just up in the bushes up here that I think could be a really useful tool, guys. This right here, this is what we call a bintang, the wild one. Yeah, let me tell you, a few of these bad boys and you're gonna forget the night, that's for sure. But uh, we'll pick this one up and we'll put it back in the boat. Alrighty guys, I'm just building my fire right now where you can see Captain. He's literally eating his own lunch. What are you eating? He's eating this nice lunch right here. <laughs> Look at that. I'm about to eat the fish that I just I'm shot. Being, um... We'll put all this on. This is all just washed up and everything like that, but it's super dry. I just want to go up here and find some type of kindling quickly. Got some coconut leaf right there. All right, we've got our fish right here, guys. And we've got our steel and flint. Let's take it up to the fire. Alrighty guys, you can see we've pulled up to this absolutely incredible beach right here. We've got our two fish. This is a beautiful little rainbow runner. It's a very small one, but they have beautiful sashimi. And you can see right there, that's another beautiful parrot fish that we shot from earlier. I'm gonna spark this up, guys. We're gonna get this on the cook. I'm thinking I'm just gonna smash both down. It's about one or two in the afternoon right now. So this should be enough food to keep me going. Hopefully into this afternoon and into tomorrow morning for day number two, because it's gonna get a lot harder tomorrow with the hand spear, baby. All right, there she goes. Ooh. I really want to get a big fire here going, guys, so I'm gonna get a whole bunch of stuff going. We've got our fish right here. I'm just gonna put them right there while I just prepare how we're gonna cook it. So I've just got this stick right here. What I wanna do, I'm just gonna split it straight down. You can see right there, it's still green. I haven't even filleted, gutted, scaled this fish. I'm literally just gonna put it straight through its mouth and I'm gonna feed it straight out its ass. Doesn't sound right, does it? But literally how it works, guys. You can see just like that, straight through the mouth, feed it straight down the throat. And you guys can see right there, we pretty much got a fish on a stick. I'm slaving away right now to get this fire going and uh, get my food on the cook while the captain he's eating his lunch and he's just chilling look at this fire man it's so cooking oh no that's not supposed to happen that's just gonna cook away <laughs> oh that's so hot you guys can see we've got our parrotfish right there same procedure i'm just gonna get this thing straight on this one's not gonna fit through the mouth it's too big <laughs> you guys see that it's all just crapped all over me and i'm about to eat that all right i'm going to give that a wash off we're going to put this thing on let's get it going i've actually wet the stick also so it shouldn't burn we'll get this thing straight on the cook now as long as we keep this fire fueled these things will just slowly cook away the plan is that all the skin on the outside should hopefully protect that beautiful for white meat underneath. We just gotta keep it filled. How's she looking over there? Oh yeah, she's starting to get a nice cook. What we can do is we can just turn it right now and you can see we've rested this piece of stick up against this rock so it's super solid. We'll just let this slowly cook away. All the wood and everything that we collected is just washed up on this beach here in Indonesia. Over here guys, it's just ridiculous the stuff that washes up. So we're using all of it to our advantage right now. I'm so hungry right now. Bloody captain's made me starving. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, how are you feeling after that meal, brother? How was your lunch? Good, good, good. Yeah, it's good, yeah. <laughs> he's had enough of his meal now, so now he's coming to probably snag some of my meal. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought I was gonna be eating something a lot more substantial, but it was hard going out there. It was so beautiful underwater, but at least we got some fish, guys. That's all that matters, so. I'm just frothing. I'm gonna have some food in my belly to go into day number two because it is gonna get a lot harder tomorrow. Only gonna be using our hand spear for day number two, and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna get for food. So all you guys that like to watch me suffer and eat weird animals, you're probably gonna love what happens tomorrow. This parrot fish has probably been cooking for about 10 minutes right now over this flame. I'm just gonna give it a quick turn, make sure we try get it even cook. Right. I think she's done, baby. Let's go. Woo. I'm so excited. Ah, nearly just tripped over. <laughs> That is my food for the next 24 hours. Look, it's not much, but it's probably gonna get me through. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the fish doesn't look the greatest. The cook looks all right, but all the guts and everything, probably should have gutted it. Alrighty guys, the moment has come right now. You guys can see, 
We have cooked our fire over, cooked our fire. We have cooked our fish over the fire. You guys know what I mean. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it doesn't look that appetizing, but I need any type of food that I can get in me for the next 24 hours. You can see, this is the rainbow runner that we shot, guys. Give her a shot. Dude, I've nailed that. Are you kidding me? Let's get her down. I would serve that to the bloody queen if she was still alive. Are you kidding me? That's off charts. Look at that, I've actually nailed it. Swear on the queen's life. <laughs> Why do I keep bringing up the queen? <laughs> Don't worry about the queen. This is actually incredible, I swear. Look at that right there. Just give this parrot fish a shot. These parrot fish, you guys can see, they've got massive scales, so it should protect this meat underneath. You can see the texture of the meat is a little bit different. This one's quite firm, kind of more, I guess, flaky. Let's give that a shot right there. Parrot fish. To be honest with you guys, I like the texture better in the rainbow runner, but I'm not complaining. This is fuel that's gonna keep me going until tomorrow morning, so. Literally just had a wave come and crash on my fish. Are you kidding me? We have smashed down this fish right now. Things are gonna get a lot harder tomorrow. No more spear gun and we have to use the hand spear. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna be eating, but it is gonna be wild, baby. I'll see you guys bright and early for day number two. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Good morning to you guys. It is day number two right now. And we need food, baby. I'm not gonna lie, my stomach is literally rumbling, guys. As you know, we got those two fish yesterday, but it was not enough. Plan of attack is, I got the spear in the backpack right now. I got my fins in hand. We're punching along this coastline, and we're gonna get straight into the water, see if we can find some breakfast. Let's go, baby. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little bit nervous for today because I don't know what the hell we're gonna be eating on this hand spear. So I think it's gonna take us a few hours. I reckon we just get out in that water, see what we can find. Hopefully we're eating something at the end of the day because I do not want to go hungry. Ah! We gotta get out there. Let's go, baby. Woo! ridiculous out there, are you kidding me? I was about as useful as a concrete parachute, man. I was hitting straight water, absolutely nothing. I couldn't even get a fish. This thing is actually so hard, but let me break down the weapon that we're using for today. This is what we call a hand spear right here. Essentially, it's just a long piece of, I guess, like metal. Is it metal or fiberglass? I don't know, it's something. And it's got a barb on the end of it right there, and it's got this band. And essentially, you just pull this like this, then you let it go, and it shoots at the fish. And as you guys saw, it is bloody hard to get an animal out there. So I don't know what the hell we're eating. What I'm thinking right now, guys, is we've kind of spooked all the fish in this area. I reckon we punch along the coastline, go to a brand new reef system, and from there, hopefully we can get some food. So as you guys know, I had the captain guiding me yesterday. Today, all we have is our hand spear and our bloody twigs right here. We're gonna be walking along the beach, and hopefully we can find some sick ground. We'll jump out and we'll see if we can get some food. It's an absolute cracker day, and there's no way that I'm starving myself on it. And I would walk 500 miles just to spear a fish so I won't go hungry. Da, 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 da. I don't know if this is weird or not, but I kind of like pump myself up off camera. I'm like, fire up, Wade, fire up. That was definitely a little bit weird. <laughs> when you miss about a thousand fish on this bad boy, let me tell you, your spirit starts to fall. So I got to get myself pumped up. No more playing up like a barley watch. We got to get out there and actually hit something. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, the pistol 
<laughs> that is 100% the biggest freaking sea cucumber I've ever seen in my life. That was ridiculously hard out there. Are you kidding me? Look at our spear right now. Do you guys see the rubber? The thing literally snapped. We've got food for day number two. At least I'm not going hungry. That's all that matters right now. Yes! A lot of you guys are gonna be like, Wade buddy shot Dory. Guys, it's not Dory, it's Dory's cousin. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, it's probably about three o'clock in the afternoon right now. At least we got a pair of these beautiful fish that we can throw over the fire on sunset. To finish off this challenge, guys, I was a little bit disabled out there with that hand spear. I'm not gonna lie, but not gonna make any excuses. The sun is setting over the horizon probably about one hour. So I'm gonna wait till then and we're gonna have one mad sunset cook up. It is gonna be bloody epic. Doesn't matter about the size, it's about how you use it, eh? <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, we've had one psycho bloody day today, but that weather has taken a turn for the worst. We've got our fish right now, and we need to get them on the cook. I'm starving, guys, I'm not gonna lie. You know when you get to that point when you're so hungry, you start to feel sick? That's me right now. I just wanna get some rocks here. We'll build a little fire pit. Look at this weather, man. These clouds are coming in hot. I wanna collect some kindling quickly, and let's get this fish on. I'm so hungry. Looks like an old coconut. We can probably use that over our fire. Let's see what else there is. What the hell? What is this right here, dude? The things that bloody wash up here in Indonesia. Look at this. It's like a little hat, bro. <laughs> there goes all chances of us getting a fire going. <laughs> I don't know what the hell we're gonna do right now, guys. This weather has absolutely just turned it on right now. It is bucketing down here in Indonesia. I guess this is why they call it the wet season, eh? <laughs> just when today couldn't get any harder, man. We literally got the two smallest fish. Feels like I'm eating buddy Finding Nemo. Update. I found this tree to get out of this weather right now because it's absolutely bucketing down. I don't know why the hell I got this stupid hat on. It's freaking raining, but it's kind of sick, man. Like, let's be honest. I found it washed up on the beach. Of course, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to give it like 15 minutes. If this rain stops, we'll see if we can maybe get a fire going. Otherwise, I'm hooking into the fish raw. The only thing that's keeping the spirits up right now is this hat. You guys can see. Look at all that rain coming through. Ah! <laughs> Our sunset cook up has gone downhill. All righty, you guys can see that weather has kind of passed right now. We got a little bit of a break in the rain. So what I'm thinking, I don't think I'm gonna be getting a fire going with all this rain. We're gonna find a way to make it tasty, that's for sure. Let's grab our fish right here. Go give him a quick wash off. Just mow my way along that backbone. I'm just lifting and peeling. Oh, that's all crap. That's disgusting. And that's supposed to be a beautiful, nice piece of meat. Oh, this is gonna be one of the most cooked things I've ever eaten. I'm that hungry right now, I would eat the ass off a low-flying duck. All right, I think we got most of the poo out of it. All right, you guys can see we've washed that out. We've done about as good as we can, but I think there's still some fish poo in that. The thing literally exploded when I started filleting it. So this one, I'm gonna make sure that I gut it so I can get all the poo out of it before I start filleting it. All right, you guys can see that one. I've literally just ripped all the guts out of this bad boy so it doesn't have crap all over the fillet. Take a look at this, guys. We've got a little bit of fresh sashimi right there. I'm so bloody hungry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday, so let's get a bit of the sashimi down. I can kind of taste the poo. I'm not gonna lie, like it just tastes like seaweedy poo. But right now, I'm so hungry, I don't even care. That piece just had all the crap in it. Oh, that was actually cooked. 
Look guys, even though we're eating fish right now that literally tastes like crap, it's probably one of the worst fish I've ever eaten. I'm just sitting here and I'm so grateful, man. Like, if I can get a little bit deep with you guys, at the beginning of this year, I had a dream. And I know that sounds cliche and everything like that, but I was doing something that I absolutely hated. And it was around March when a few things happened in my life and I decided that I wanted to just go hard at YouTube. Since then, I've literally uploaded a video every single week and I've been obsessed, I've been dedicated. And you guys have been able to see the whole journey. It's reached a point where I literally get to live my dream life. It is not possible without you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much. And if there's anyone out there that has a dream and they're going through a dark place and they don't know a way out of anything, there's a way out and you will find a way out. You just got to find what you love in this world and you just got to go hard at it. I just found a passion that I love and I decided to dedicate myself fully to it. And now this is my full-time job, guys. I got a little surprise for him to cheer him up. Hopefully this will get his spirits up. Here he is, I found him. Hey, going? So this bloke's literally eating pizza while I'm eating fish that literally tastes like poo right now. Bro, I can't even look at you right now. I got a surprise for you, just to cheer your spirits up. No way, bro. Couple of bin <laughs> yeah. Look, it's a eat only what you catch for two days. A beer's all right, right? Surely you can have a bin tank. Look, guys, it has been one rough day today. It has been so hard. Cheers to you guys. I love you all so much. We'll see you in the next wild adventure. Shee-hoo! Nothing match. like a beer to wash down some fish that tastes like crap.